Howdy YouTube, Dish Pipe here, coming at you from a nice, cool, just the camera, Thursday evening in South Carolina. Um, tonight I'm going to be doing another first impression, because I enjoy doing my other first impressions so much, I want to do it again. Housekeeping, I'm going to be using my uh, Pierce and Dracula. I've been smoking out today. A couple couple blends, but they all kind of fall along the same line as the one I got right now. I'm going to be doing a first impression of. And now I got a nice glass of Bullet Barrel Proof. Yeah, Barrel Proof, I think it is. 61.7%. It's okay. It's like having like a four roses barrel proof. Yeah. Anyway, tonight, my first impression is going to be on a Scudo. I'm kidding. This is actually my little knickknack tin. My lighters and my, my tamper in there. <laughs> I'm kidding. Nope, tonight I'm going to be doing... Harpen Home White Knight. Yes, another Harpen Home product. If this is like, if this, if this is anything like Magnum Opus, I'll be very happy. Um, I got interested in White Knight because certain YouTubers, um, especially Mutton Chop Piper, really likes really likes White Knight. I think Derek Tang is a couple of these. I think Derek Tan gets everything hard from home anyway. Mr. Mayor, apologize. But anyway, uh, also the White Knight did it win? They did, they did like a contest to see who, what matched up to the Balkan Sobrani blend, and this either won or came very close. Let's see if this one or uh, Balkan Blue that won closest to Balkan Sobrani. Now, I never had Balkan Sobrani, so I can't tell you. Yay or nay or whatever. Now, this has got a different label than my uh, Magnum Opus did. The Magnum Opus is all the way around, a little more prettier. And it had like, that, that like dated FB2000, FB14, which, again, I don't know if it was a date or a product number or something like that. I haven't found anything out yet. Because, again, you, you look out how to date Hearth and Home. First, I have to take it out by dinner. But anyway, it says how to um, how to date your hearth and home. You know, you Google it, and it comes up on forums. And then Mister Willett even says we don't date our tens. So I don't know. But I did buy this on January two thousand eighteen. But it's a hearth and home marquee series, White Knight. White Knight is a medium bodied, very complex. A well-balanced Balkan-style blend created to invoke memories of one of the most iconic pipe tobaccos ever made. The Balkan Sobrani. I didn't say that right there. But distributed by PipesAndCigars.com. I think that's from smoking, smoking Pipes. I don't know. But, like I said, different, different labeling and everything. Now look up, what's a Balkan style? You won't get confused? Google, what is Balkan style tobacco? Yeah, you'd be confused. Anyway, let's start the process. Grinds. It's got a black, black plastic on it. A little spillage. It's fine. All right, definitely different looking than the than the uh, Magnum Opus. A lot, a lot lighter. I think the Magnum Opus had a little more dark spots in there. Now what I do know about Balkan blend is based in English. So let's dig on in. Very smoky, smoky. Like 
cedar. It's like it's like a campfire with some cedar chips on there. I get some, I get some other kind of smell. I can't really sweet. There's some sweetness in there. Like a rose, maybe? Like some kind of sweet flower? Floral. A, a sweet floral. Like you walk into like a, a forest. You get an overwhelming floral smell. Not overwhelming. This is not overwhelming, but like all the flower smells mixing together to make one smell over. This is kind of what I'm getting. Tomato? Yeah. Tomato. I just want tomato. Like a like a green tomato. Almost ripe. Almost uh, green tomato, almost ripe tomato. Alright, so we got fire, cedar, floral, and almost ripe tomato. This is what I got. Could be totally wrong. That's me though. But what I do all day, hang out with dogs with cedar chips. Um, we got forest around here. I go buy my lovely wife flowers all the time. Well, not all the time. We go to the forest. So I like this. Tomatoes. I like tomatoes, especially nice, fresh tomatoes. So it's kind of evoking some memories here. But that's how you do a smell test. I had no idea. Right, you see, it's very tightly packed in there. So, might break up, get another smell. See, see if it releases anything. All right, the fire, the campfire um, died down. The cedar, the cedar kicked up. Yeah, I'm smelling more cedar. The cedar is kind of overwhelming now. is not not moist at all moist enough it still still springs back good enough for me i like it load that boy up that thought there i had a little ramble on my uh live video video today don't watch that if you don't want to. It won't hurt my feelings none. What do you all think about doing like a Google Hangout? The YTP Cedars. You know, doing like a Google Hangout. Four or five of us. I don't know how it works. And just sitting on YouTube Live and bullshitting. Sorry, BSing. Like we're hanging out with each other in a bar or at, our, or at a pipe club. I'm sorry, guys. I'm in Columbia, South Carolina. I don't have a pipe club anywhere near me. So I think it's a way to get us, those who don't have a pipe club, you know, face to face. In a sense. I swear to God, if a cat comes out, I'll be really mad. Cat about to come out. All right, got it packed. I'm gonna do my little dry draw. Good pack. All right. Nothing. I'm getting what I, I get. I'm getting what I smoked earlier. Hopefully, hopefully I won't ruin this too much or ruin this at all. Let me get this a little cleaned out first. It's clean. Let's see, let's see what happens. I'm a zippo.
not working at all. I don't know what's in there at all. I forgot to look it up. All right, it's light. I don't know why it's size, say medium light. Good mouth feel. I can feel the smoke in there. I can't tell you about nicotine kick. You know? I, I dip for I dip for years. You know, get that at the back of right in your bloodstream right there. So I can't nicotine hit. Won't hurt me at all. Well, I can't tell. All right. This is a whole lot harder than the Magnum Opus. I can compare. I'll, I'll do a comparison to, for me. All right, so it's still light, medium light. Probably a little, little heavier than the Magnum Opus. A lot more, lot more mouth feel. Okay, if we got that uh, Latakia. Heavier on a Latakia, I believe. Yeah, I'll go with that. Um, I mentioned before, you know, I was starting I was starting to shy away from the Englishes. The ones I did like all of a sudden was not working for me whatsoever. Like Maltese Falcons and a couple from some local uh, like some uh, house house blends were not agreeing with me for some reason. But the last two I've had, the Magnum Opus and this are agreeing with me. Harder. This has got a little more flavor than the Magnum Opus, but I think the Magnum Opus I had was that'd be a good all dayer. This could be a good all dayer too, some little, some more heavier, but definitely got more flavor. Not as excited as it was la last time, though. Does it got freak in there? Does it got a little, little bit of... No, no, that's not freak. That's not pepper. That's not pepper. Could be totally wrong, though. No, it's not pepper. That's just straight old leg. He has nose burn. What a ritual real. Now, this is supposed to be like the best tobacco in the world. 
like model the uh, ball for some Ronnie. Meh. I give it a meh. However, stand alone. Here you go, Kyle. Have a try this. It's amazing. I like it. Oh. Uh, Every dayer? Nah. No. Rotation? Yeah, I'll put some, I could put some rotation, like once a week, twice a week. Once in a while. So, yeah, if I, if I make Magnum Opus and Escudo like every day, years, by switching off, I'll, I'll throw this in there like once a week, twice a week. It's definitely good. I'll, I'll buy some more. I can't buy any more. I ran, I ran out of damn mason jars. Yeah, this is, my, this is, taking, my, this is taking my last mason jar, so. I'm going to buy more. So, yeah. I like it. The thing I like about the most, though, is. I've been puffing, 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 chewing, and chooching. They say chooching. Pipe ain't got hot. Pipe ain't got very hot. No tongue bite. So, yeah. Out of five, three and a half. Good. Not great. I could see it in my daily rotation, though. Anyway, this is your favorite tobacco, and I screwed it up. I apologize. This is my opinion. You got any comments? You know where they're at. Down there. Not down here. Any questions, concerns? Same thing. Uh, go over to Instagram on Dis Pipe. Got some funny stuff over there. Uh, go to my uh, podcast. Or, I mean, the podcast I'm on. Excuse me, the Mickey Dudes Podcast. Stitcher Podcast, iBeam, iTunes. And uh, yeah, message me if you want to. I don't care. Anyway, folks, you all have a good one.